evening and welcome to News Jock, the alternative to topical news comedy. In the news this week, it's been revealed that two women posing as police officers stole a three-figure sum of cash from a man they pretended to stop and search outside Edinburgh's Ocean Terminal shopping centre this Valentine's Day. About the incident, Detective Constable Joanne Robertson of Gayfield CRD said, Yoink! With the Duke and Duchess of Sussex already fending off criticism regarding choice and first engagement since departure from the royal duties, the Prince has warned that he needs to be more careful in future about who he associates with and how he might be perceived in the public eye. With Storms Chiara and Dennis sweeping the nation, co-leader of the Liberal Democrats, Edward J. Davey, MP, a former Coalition Secretary of State for Energy and Climate Change, challenged the government to convene a COBRA meeting over the resulting widespread flooding and landslides, highlighting specifically the Prime Minister's need to take the crisis far more seriously. A spokesman for Number 10 responded that the PM intends to do just that as soon as Zartan, Storm Shadow and Dr Mindbender return his call. This week also saw the departure of number 10 advisor and self-proclaimed super forecaster Andrew Sabisky, resigning just days after his appointment. As comments were unearthed, some dating as far back as 2014, suggesting he advocates a pro-eugenic stance and policies. These remarks, naturally, sparked much debate online and in the press leading many to speculate that, well, he did not see that coming, did he? Also, racism bad. In other, more popular science, a NASA probe has detected what media outlets are calling a deadly wall of fire surrounding our solar system. This apparent bubble of super hot gloop is made up of material ejected by our sun, reaching temperatures in the region of 50,000 degrees Celsius. A spokesperson for the Kellogg's Food Company noted their natural disappointment and planned to launch an immediate investigation into how their secret location for Pop-Tart fillings was leaked to these scientists. This week, unfortunately, saw the passing of Flat Earther and DIY rocket enthusiast Mad Mike Hughes who died after a crash landing one such homemade rocket, being tested as part of his one-man endeavour to disprove the notion that the Earth is round. I guess, sadly, now, we'll never find out if the Earth really is flat. And in, loosely speaking, entertainment news, amongst fresh criticisms that ITV's primetime talent show singing competition X Factor is at best a performing monkey show, at worst an exploitative reworking of 19th century freak shows directly preying upon vulnerable members of our society, Simon Cowell announces plans this year to rest the series for 12 months. Trailer footage from upcoming reboot of 80s television series Knight Rider has audiences worried that the production has been unable to secure the look and budget fans had been hoping for. Daytime television show This Morning had as witnessed scenes of high emotion recently, as co-host Philip Schofield used the platform to announce to the world that despite being both husband and father, he considers himself a gay man. Nice to see that finally, after all these years, Schofield has publicly been able to come out of the groom cupboard. And now, good week, bad week. It's been a bad week for Warwickshire, with first Storms Kiara, then Dennis, sweeping through, truly battering the region, felling trees, cutting off villages, grinding train travel to a standstill, and causing massive infrastructure disruptions. Meanwhile, it's been a good week for HS2, as the storms have given residents a chance to get used to planned conditions along the route. It's been a bad week for Asia, of course, with increased concerns about the spread of coronavirus, NCOV 2019, leading to the cancellation of tours from musicians such as Kenny G, 98 Degrees, and Spandau Ballet singer Tony Hadley. But it's been a good week for music lovers, as increased concerns about the spread of coronavirus, NCOV 2019, 
has led to the cancellation of tours from musicians Kenny G, 98 Degrees and Spandau Ballet singer Tony Hadley. It's been a good week for women in politics, particularly in the Scottish Government. Fiona Hislop taking on responsibility for the economy as Cabinet Secretary for Economy, Fair Work and Culture, and Kate Forbes being nominated as Cabinet Secretary for Finance, all of course under the orchestration of First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. However, it's been a bad week for former Finance Minister, scandal hit Derek Mackay, as it seems he'll definitely not be getting his pocket money now. And we'll leave you with News that, with threats continuing to mount upon the future of the licence fee, a BBC spokesperson denies claims topical news quiz Have I Got News For You is dumbing down content in a bid to appeal to the internet generation. <coughs> a Finsbury Park retirement home comes under fire after video leaks online highlighting cruel pranks some staff have been playing on their confused elderly residents. Number 2 and 0, 20. Number 10. <laughs> A candid photo catches Anne Widdicombe looking on, blissfully unaware, as Farage delivers his colleagues in the EU Parliament one final parting blow. Prime Minister Boris Johnson visits the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sports to oversee trials of a new fully immersive VR tactile teleconferencing solution aimed at streamlining the future award process for their Cyber Skills Immediate Impact Fund. And, for this week at least, that's all the news that wasn't fit to print. Cheery by the new!